So over the years, I've invested in an ATM machine fund as a passive investor, and I've liked it so much that I decided to bring it to my own investors that invest in multifamily deals. And I wanna to talk to you about my process going through understanding how this investment works, why I love it. It has some super unique characteristics of it and why I think it's a great thing for every investor that's accredited. It's for accredited investors to actually look at, but it offers a 24.7% preferred return. Again, I'm not offering anything to you right now. The fund is not open currently, but we offer it a couple times a year to investors we have a relationship with. Typically, you get about half your money back within just a couple years. Can't really say that always about multifamily deals, right? They you know, may have cash flow, may not, may be delayed, um, but you know, pretty predictably, at about three or four months, it starts paying out, and all of your funds are back in just over four years. There's no interest rate risk, there's no leverage, so a lot of people love it because it doesn't have those. And um, you know, I just wanted to share this with you because I think it would be something that would be really powerful for you to understand how it works. I was skeptical at first, when I learned how it worked and I actually invested in it, um, I have actually fallen in love with this investment. So if you haven't joined our investor club, you're not hearing about deals like this. You're not hearing about our multifamily deals either. We're finding some awesome deals. So if you're interested in joining our investor club, just go down to the description below, click, uh, you know, go to Bronson Equity and click the join button and you will be, you will start a relationship with you, set up a call and what you'll get on our deals list. So you don't want to miss that. You won't hear about deals like this if you're not on our list. So we're going to go over this in three easy steps. Go ahead and smash that like button. Let's jump into it. Okay, so a quick little disclaimer, this is not an investment offering. I'm not actually offering this investment currently, uh, at least at the time of creating this video. And uh, you know, this is just simply educational. This is my own experience, so do your own diligence on any investment. So I wanna tell you a quick story about myself, right? I don't actually love real estate investing, right? I don't love doing any kind of investing. What I love is what investing does for me, what real estate investing, what any asset class does for me. It's allowed me to quit my great corporate job and cover my living expenses. It's allowed me to 15x my net worth. So it's really important that you know you take time and you educate yourself, right? That's what we do on the Mailbox Money Show, the podcast, the show that we do on this channel, as well as on uh, iTunes and other podcast platforms, is we're educating people around how do you get your head around different types of passive investments. So this is really the shocking and the unusual and shocking benefits of ATM investing. And it is very different than other types of investments, but I'm gonna explain it very simply here. We'll just jump into it. So like I mentioned, a 24.7% preferred return, very, very high preferred return. Uh, it typically, typically starts paying month three or four. It's not a guaranteed payment, but in over 10 years of doing this, the partners that we work with, the operating group, fifth largest operator of ATMs in the country, they have not missed one payment. So it's been really solid. So this means basically if somebody invests 100K, they're getting about a $2,100 a month payment paid out every month for the next seven years, which is huge, right? So what that means is you can basically get your money back, half your money back in about this over two years and all your money back in just about four years and it's a seven year investment. Um, so it's pretty amazing. Another thing is uh, people love tax benefits. This has some amazing tax benefits. It has 100% depreciation, similar to multifamily deals, where it's typically 80 to 100% depreciation in year one. But the difference is with multifamily, you have to pay back or you have a recapture event when you sell in five years because they're accelerating the depreciation to year one. And if you don't use the remaining 15 or 20 or 25 years that's left on that depreciation schedule, you have to you have a recapture event, which uh, you know can be in, inconvenient versus this is equipment, right? What we're actually buying is equipment, 100% goes to the value of the equipment and it has a seven year depreciation schedule, which is perfect. So we accelerate the depreciation and then when it's time, the funds over, it basically you get to use that 100% depreciation with no recapture ever, which is an incredible tax benefit. Uh, if you wanna learn more about that, I've done some other videos about uh, depreciation and tax benefits. So you can uh, do that. Or when we set up a call, you join our club, we can have a conversation about that as well. So hopefully I have your attention that this is a different type of investment, very high returns. I see people looking for predictable cash flow, and this is really the most predictable cash flow investment that I can see. There are always risks in every you know, investment that you do. But if I generally, and this is a theoretical example, uh, if I had 10K in living expenses that I wanted to cover, if I had $500,000, and I invested it in something like this with the returns that it would give somebody about 123,000 a year, which would cover the $10,000 a month. So that, that's a pretty unique high type of return, right? So how is this different from multifamily deals? That question comes up a lot. Well, isn't is multifamily is kind of the same or how does it work? Well, it is has some different things about the deal and how it's structured. So multifamily deals typically we hold for five to six years, the equity multiple is a two. 
And that usually means that, you know, generally it's about a two, sometimes it's less, sometimes more, but if we have 100K, we're trying to turn that into 200K over the next five to six years. This ATM deal is a 1.75 equity multiple around approximately uh, over seven years. So the returns total are actually lower. But before you kind of check it off and say, oh, that's, that's no good, it's lower, it's longer period, whatever, think about this. If I had a two equity multiple and it was a five year hold and I gave you, of your 100K you invested, if I gave you 90K back at the end of year one, would that be a good thing, right? What could you do with the 90K that you got back after the first year? You'd have to wait four more years for the 10K, but you'd get 90% of it back in year one. It'd be amazing, right? You could take that, you could, it's almost like you just did a deal, you got it back very quickly, and then the deal keeps going on, and you're able to go reinvest in other things. That's really how this works. Because you get paid back so quickly, and like I mentioned, just over two years, uh, you know, about half of the money comes back, which is amazing. So it can be reinvested in other types of things, which is awesome. So uh, the IRR of this deal is generally around a 19%, which is higher than some of the ones we project for our multifamily deals. We usually are very conservative on those because we don't know what it's gonna be like. And we've had some that have gone as high as 100% IRR, some that, you know, 14, 15% IRR, but generally it's in that range. This one is a more predictable type of 19% with cash flow, which is awesome. So that's something to really consider, you know, the internal rate of return, what that looks like. And then, um, you know, this, like I mentioned, there's less risk in this deal because it's not leveraged. There's no interest rate risk. Interest rates can go up, down, whatever. Um, but, you know, the question I get from some investors is, well, why is this available? This is such a high return. Like, it sounds too good to be true. Like, what's the deal? Like, why, why is this even here? Well, I'm going to jump into that in a minute about the ATM business. But let me just say the ATM business itself is a cash business, right? And there's a lot of these anti-money laundering uh, regulations that are out here, particularly for large banks. And Groups like uh, the group I work with, Prestige, they have trouble finding financing through some of these larger banks and larger finance groups because of all the regulations that go in with working in cash. And I'm gonna get into kind of who uses ATMs and what's the market for it happening. I think it's very, very strong. But again, sometimes there are unique things in the market where uh, we also see this in the cannabis industry. Now, I don't invest personally in cannabis. I have some good friends that do. But the challenge with cannabis, it, the cannabis industry is that they're a cash business also and there are a lot of banks that won't even take the money or they have to pay higher rent than normal. So again, it's, it's finding these areas where, you know, there's a reason why people are, you know, investment groups are not investing in this, right? Because they can't, they're unable to due to regulation. So it's a very interesting opportunity. And, you know, the question comes is, are we going cashless, Bronson? Isn't this whole ATM thing going away? Uh, the answer is no, I'm gonna jump into that in just a sec. Okay, so the third thing is that the ATM business is surprisingly strong. You may think, man, nobody uses ATMs anymore. I haven't used an ATM in years, right? And even for me now, when I travel, or when I go around, I, I ne hardly ever or never use ATMs and I especially never pay a fee. But this is something that's really interesting is that the people that invest in the ATM business are typically not the ones using ATMs. There's this group of the population, it's about five to 10% of the population we call the unbanked or the underbanked. And really the ATM machine becomes their bank. And you'd say, well, how is that really possible? Why would someone do that? Well, if you think about it, if I have a cash business where I'm operating in cash, I'm getting paid under the table, I'm working as an immigrant, I'm finding, a, you know, I, I just, I'm just i operating in cash, that's gonna be something I'm gonna use. Maybe I don't have uh, quite the, the traditional means to go through a bank, so I'll use the ATM. You can send money overseas with it, you pay in cash. Now government benefits, a lot of the US is on government benefits, it's a high percentage. Uh, higher, I was very surprised, I can't remember the exact figure, but it's it's high. It's So people that are getting government benefits um, they're receiving a debit card with those benefits on there, whether it's unemployment or it's welfare or other things, it's coming on. So they go in and they'll pay the two to $3 fee every week, every other week, sometimes more, and they're fine with it, right? Because they're going in, they're getting the service, they're getting the money and they're doing it that way. Well, what about, you know, well, how does this work really during a recession, right? That's a question that people wanna know. If we're going into a recession, how does this work during a recession? Well, the ATM business during COVID, we watched, we had a pretty severe short-term recession um, it went down, uh, basically the, the usage went down by about 10%, so it was about 90% uh, of the normal volume. And then shortly after, this is just for a couple months, then it went back up to 100 or even higher than 100% of the prior volume. So we see the number of tra cash transactions actually going up currently. The amount of cash, of course, in the system is continually going up. So that's very good. As a percentage to credit card transactions, it's slightly going down, but it's very, very, it's almost even. So this is something we think a lot of people are going to continue to use. And why is that? We think that politically, there's just not the will to go away with physical cash. I have some good friends that really think cash, physical cash is gonna go away. Uh, I disagree because I think there's issues 
politically on the right and there's issues on the left. On the right, there's privacy issues. If I can't operate in cash anymore, then I lose privacy, right? And uh, a lot of people do operate electronically, but having the right to be able to operate in cash is a privacy issue, I think. And on the left, people will say, well, what about these people that are struggling, these immigrants that have these cash businesses, right? So you have an issue on both sides of doing away with cash. So this is why you can see how I love this investment. High cash flow, 24.7% preferred return paid monthly, starts paying very quickly, typically three to four months after close, 100% depreciation with no recapture, consistent performance with no payments missed since inception. So this deal, uh, this is my partner on this, it's called Prestige. They have 15,000 ATMs in six states, the fifth largest operator, or operator of ATMs in the US. So just a great, great group. So something to really consider, um, and I wanna share this quote with you. It's, uh, this is from Paul Samuelson. He says, investing should be like watching paint dry or watching grass grow. If you want excitement, take $800 and go to Las Vegas. <laughs> it's pretty good. Um, I was just in Las Vegas last weekend actually for a meeting and I didn't gamble, but um, investing is something you really shouldn't gamble with, right? You should do something that you feel uh, is a sure thing or something that has a good sense of track record. And this is one investment I've loved. Uh, another uh, asset that I love is precious metals. So I did this panel with a few amazing experts about precious metals, check that out up there. And then, like I was saying, if you haven't joined our investment club, go down below and do it. We'll set up a call, we'll start a relationship with you. Uh, have an amazing ebook I wrote on how to take advantage of inflation, how to use it to your advantage. And that's in the links below as well. Getting some great feedback on that. So go check that out, download that free ebook, and look forward to seeing you on the next video.